Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We're here at Third Fridays at 78th Street Galleries. We're here in Hedge Gallery, and we're here with Hillary Gens and John Carlson. Hillary, you have started a whole new thing here. You are starting to represent art. This is something new for you, right? Yes. And it's something new for really Cleveland. Not a lot of folks are representing artists. What made you start to do this? Well, I had already created some pretty dynamic relationships with people that I've been exhibiting for almost seven years, which is incredible to say. Um, so thank you, Cleveland community, for supporting me. Um, but I decided that it was time to go a little bit deeper, and um, I wanted to be able to have the opportunity to promote in a broader range with these people. So um, looking at the roster right now, there are 13 individuals that are somewhat exclusive with the gallery now. And uh, you're going to see not only their newest work, but also work that's experimental projects. Um, so there are many new opportunities for them to not just show what sells or what's been shown before, but also to explore and experiment while they're here. So what does it mean for an artist, John, when somebody like Hillary steps up and says, I want to start representing you? What kind of a change does that make in your life? Oh, it's huge. Um, <laughs> It's, this is one of the better galleries in town. Hillary is always open for experimentation. Uh, she says, just go with it. She's not concerned always with making the sale, like she just said. It's a lot of it, she lets the artist be artist. It's wonderful. This is a big change in the Cleveland arts community. There's a lot of things happening right now. Talk about, I mean, this whole 78th Street scene is just blown up, okay? And this isn't the only one. Visual arts is blowing up in town here. What is going on in the big sense? Well, I think people are finally getting it, that the artists make a difference um, in our town, that they're the ones that begin uh, movements, and they're the ones that complete movements. And they're the sustainability when it comes to neighborhoods redeveloping. And so without them existing and making and creating, and without the circle, we don't have the full circle of support. So what I'm looking forward to is seeing how people decide to show their support to artists, whether it's attending the openings, coming out for private visits. Um, we're also starting a program where we're going to be doing events in the artist studio so that people can connect with them on a more personal level and see where they work, see the grittiness of what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I will be interested to see how the community reacts. Um, residents, non-residents, people that are newcomers to Cleveland, um, get out and see this scene. It's exciting. It's very exciting. Timing is perfect. Thank you so much, Hillary Thank John. Thanks for taking time. Thank Have fun you. at the opening here. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.